Hello, Scorpio. How are you? I hope you're all doing good. I hope everyone is healthy, happy, abundant. I hope you're all spending time with family and enjoying your holiday today, um, whatever it is that you're celebrating. All right, I'm in the U.S., so we have Thanksgiving today. Um, it's about, I think, um, about 10 a.m. Hold on, let me see. I think it's about 10 a.m. Yeah, oh my God, right on the dot. Look at that shit. <laughs> 10 a.m., you guys. It's 10 a.m. right on the dot. I was right. Your girl was right. Your girl was right. It's 10 a.m. on the dot. Um, I'm going to bust out this reading, and then I'm going to go start cooking for my, my family. I've got a lot of stuff I'm cooking up today. So, you know, it, Thanksgiving is like an all-day thing for me. Um, the macaroni and cheese, the greens... Okay, um, the homemade uh, biscuits, and I don't make my biscuits from, like, the can, like that Pillsbury shit. Like, I make my biscuits from scratch, you know, I make everything from scratch, all right? It takes me all day, all day to cook Thanksgiving, but when I cook Thanksgiving, we have food for, like, an entire week, so <laughs> that's something to look forward to. I won't have to cook for a week. Um, got a lot of stuff I'm cooking today. Um, I'm excited to be with family, to be with my kids. Um, so yeah, uh, the message that, uh, spirit was wanting to give to you today to kind of come to you, come, come, the, 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 the message that spirit wanted to come with today, uh, and, and give you was really enjoy today, um, rest, relax, eat the cake, eat the pie, don't live life on other people's terms, don't, like, you know, people will always have an opinion, you're eating too much, don't have that second plate, don't eat the bread, you know, whatever, uh, don't eat the pie, don't eat the cake, whatever, listen, eat, okay, today is Thanksgiving, eat, eat the second plate, eat the third plate, all right, have the second, third, fourth piece of pie. Who gives a shit? All right, there's this message coming through of like, you know, do like rest, relax, eat the cake, eat the pie, enjoy yourself, watch the TV, you know, and um, uh, because I do feel like there are um, some very pivotal uh, changes or very pivotal moves um, or possibly a, a, a change of direction that's coming um, in the month of December, okay? I, I'm picking up something really big, kind of like a change, a pivot, a move, something coming in December, uh, something you're going to need to really exert a lot of energy on. So for some of you, this may be a physical move, like um, moving to a different apartment, moving to a different home. You know, um, some of you, this may be uh, changing careers or, you know, whatever the case is here, right? Um, um, and, and I also am really picking up from Spirit that 2025 um, is also going to be a very big pivotal year for you. There's going to be a lot of stuff, a lot of changes, a lot of things happening, a lot of pivots, a lot of moves, a lot of uh, different directions. You know what I mean? Um, so what I will say is this, enjoy your Thanksgiving, enjoy your family, enjoy your rest, because there's a lot, there, there's a few things coming before the end of the year and a lot of stuff coming in, in 2025 that's really going to catapult you to the top. All right. So rest, relax, enjoy your day. Okay, Scorpio, so what, what deck do you want to use today, Spirit? Spirit is showing me this one, so we'll take this one. This one, so we'll take this one. And this one, so we'll take this one. Okay. So on the tops of these decks, Scorpio, you could be waiting for a message. You're waiting for a message because we've got, you know, the five of cups here. 
we've got the Eight of Wands on the bottom of this deck, and we've got Divine Timing on the bottom of this deck. So this tells me that you're waiting for something, waiting for a message to come through, waiting for something to come through. Now, this is a love reading, so I'm going to say, you know, you're waiting for somebody to contact you. You're waiting for somebody to uh, message you. You're waiting for communication, right? But f for others of you, this is um, you waiting for, like, uh, um, a job offer or you're waiting to hear about, like, whether or not you got that job. Maybe you went to a job interview and you're kind of waiting Um you're, you're waiting for a phone call from the job as to whether or not you were hired or not, right? Um, but what I will say is that whatever, whatever this communication is that you're waiting on, like, it's important. For some of you, you could be waiting on, like, some investment you made. You're waiting on some money to come through, something to do with an investment. Others of you, you're waiting on possibly an inheritance, um, I'm kind of picking up a 50-50 split. Like 50% of you, this is love. This is you waiting on communication from somebody you're interested in. For others of you, this is you waiting on communication for um, a job, an opportunity, or some sort of money-related situation, right? Um, a very small few of you, maybe like 2 to 4%, it's like you're waiting on like um, an application for a rental or a mortgage or something, right? But you're definitely waiting on something here. And what I will say is that whatever it is you're waiting on, okay, whether this is a person, money, opportunity, job, um, investment, um, you know, housing, okay, what I will say is that you are getting this communication and it is working in your favor, okay? It is working in your favor. Whatever it is, it's 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 going to be in your favor. It's going to work in your favor. Um, yeah, but there's also a message of, you know, divine timing here, right? There's a message coming through of... It'll come through when it's meant to come through, okay? So for some of you, this is something that may come through tomorrow, you know, Friday, right? Right after the holiday, they make their decision and, um, oh shit, tomorrow they make their decision, they call you, they're like, you're hired or, you know, come pick up your check or whatever. For others of you, this could be, you know, um, next week or even the week the week after, all right? But I'm picking up like within within the next week, like within between this Friday, like tomorrow and next Friday, you're going to hear from this person. You're going to have like your answer. Um, angels, ancestors, guides, universal light, the seven half orders and Aphrodite. My spirits of light, my angels of light, my team of light. What is it that you have for Scorpio? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What is it that you have for Scorpio? Uh, messages of the highest love and light, please. Messages of the highest love and light for Scorpio. Please empty these cards, empty my vessel, empty my house, my surroundings of any and all uh, possible negativity. Um, lift up my vessel, these cards, and my surroundings with light and love. <sighs> Messages of light and love. Messages of light and love for Scorpio. What is it that Scorpio needs to hear? What is it that Scorpio needs to understand? What is it that Scorpio needs to know? I thought I seen... Um... Okay, I thought I seen a card that didn't belong in this deck, but maybe I was... I was tripping, clearly. Okay. Alright, I thought I seen a card that didn't belong in this deck, but... 
Um, that's not the case, I guess. Yeah, I swear I've seen it again. What the hell? Hold on. Is there a card? I swear, every time I shuffle, I see a card that doesn't belong in here. Um, okay, I don't know. I, I, it, I guess if it... Whatever. Okay. If there's a card that doesn't belong in here, then it is what it is. It's meant to be. All right. So what is it that you have for Scorpio here? We've got the answer is no. Oh yeah. See what the fuck did I tell you guys? I told you guys there was a card in here that didn't belong in here. What did I tell you guys? I told you there was a card in here that didn't belong in here. Okay. So we've got justice. What did I tell you guys? I told, did I not say that there was a card in here that didn't belong in here? I seen it every time I shuffled, but I couldn't find it and I couldn't take it out. And there it is. So it was just meant to be. It was meant to be. Oh shit. It was meant to be. What is it that you have for Scorpio? We've got mute. I keep seeing the union card, but it's reversed. Let me see if I can find it. Um, I keep seeing the reunion card, but it's reversed. Yeah, see? Union, but it's reversed. Scorpio, I've seen that like four times while I'm shuffling. We've got the answer is no and mute. Okay, so um, barrier. Okay. Oh, shit, karmic partner. Okay, so the universe is trying to redirect you, Scorpio, because um, there's something here about whoever it is you're wanting or whoever it is you're, like, pining for or whoever it is that you desire. Like, there's this message coming through of the answer is no, barrier, karmic partner. The Like, the, the universe is taking somebody out of your life or has taken somebody out of your life or is trying to take somebody out of your life. Um, what is it that you have for Scorpio, please? What is it that you have for Scorpio, please? Two more cards. Dark Knight of the Soul. Um, and reinvention. Um, on the bottom of the deck, we've got purge, devotion, and lessons. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and put that there. Um, what is it that you have for Scorpio, please? Messages of the highest light. Messages of the highest love and light, please messages of the highest love and light. So we have somebody here that the universe is trying to take out of your life so that something new can take its place. So that something new and healthier, yeah, because see, you're the empress, Scorpio. The universe is saying, like, whatever this is that you, that is trying to come back into your life, is not meant for you. Like this person is karmic and they're no good. All right. Spirit is saying like the first card out, dude, is the answer is no. So there could be, I don't know. So I'm kind of picking up two storylines here. Either you guys are currently involved with a karmic person who is currently not talking to you, right? Maybe they ghosted you and it's like you're waiting for this person to text you. You're waiting for this person to respond. You're waiting for the phone call. You're like looking at your phone. Like every, like, you know how when you get like those notification, um, uh, um, like beeps or like notification noises on your phone. It's like every time you get one of those notification noises, uh, you're looking at your phone to see if it's a text message from this person. You know, what is it that you have for Scorpio? 
And I feel like Spirit is saying, like, listen, like, let this person go, okay? Let this person go because they're not meant for you. They came in to teach you a lesson about yourself and to help you evolve, or to help you evolve, but they're not the person that's meant to be in your life, right? They're not your end all be all. Th this person is not your husband, right? Oh my God. Dude, I've got two Empress cards in this deck. How did that happen? Okay, so either you're currently involved with this person, right? You're either um, you're currently involved with this person, right? And their lack of uh, communication um, has you wanting and pining and, um, you know, possibly emotionally upset here because you want that communication. You're um, pining for that communication, wishing, hoping um, for that communication, possibly even manifesting that communication. Or for some of you, uh, this is somebody who ghosted you from the past who is coming back in with communication. All right. And Spirit is saying, like, close the door on this. Like, take this opportunity as a chance to close the door. Okay. So it, it, it's one of two things, okay? Either this is you're waiting for communication from somebody that spirit is trying to say, like, this person is toxic, move on. Or, like, this is somebody from the past, like, months ago, years ago, right, that is coming back in and spirit is saying, um, take this opportunity to say what it is that you have to say to them and then close the door permanently, right? Walk off, move forward, right? Because this person is only going to cause heartache within your life, right? They're, they're only going to cause heartache, okay? It, you, you need to move on from this person, all right? They're, they're, they're toxic, unfortunately, okay? They were a lesson, okay? They were a lesson, see? Lesson, and purge. You need to purge them from your system. All right. If the two of you were intimate, then you both, um, not you both. Okay. If you guys were intimate, then there's this message coming through of you going through some sort of cleanse or sexual cleanse, um, or going through, you know, maybe you guys weren't intimate. So maybe it's more of an emotional tie to this person. So you need to go through an emotional cleanse. Um, an emotional detox, like an emotional purging, letting this person go through meditation or, you know, witchcraft, um, cutting the ties, cutting the cords, uh, letting this person go. But this person, baby, is a karmic partner, all right? And, and they're, they're, like, what it comes down to is, like, this person is no good for you, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, so, you know, you need to let this person go and you need to let this person live in the past and be in the past uh, because it's only going to be heartache. Like, this person does not know how to love, okay? They were sent into your life to teach you a lesson to um, and, and to essentially upgrade you, right? Uh, because with Dark Knight of the Soul and Reinvention, I see, I see you, you know, whatever this person did, it's like they, they broke you to a degree, but it's like you being broken, uh, you were able to kind of reinvent yourself or, uh, find your authenticity or maybe even a little bit of both, uh, find your purpose. Um, you know, you, you were able to create boundaries from this lesson, uh, realize and understand what healthy relationships look like uh, to you, okay? Because healthy relationships look different to everybody. Um, but, you know, I'm not going to say this person doesn't know how to love, okay? I'm just going to say this person is not capable of loving like you. They don't love the same way you do, okay? So let this person go and let them go find somebody who loves in the same way that they love, okay? Because you're coming out as the Empress twice and the High Priestess. So, 
your love language is different than this person's love language, okay? And there's nothing wrong with that, but it's just you guys are not compatible, and this person is playing games, okay? So do your healing work, upgrade, you know, get a hold of that baddie energy, that bad bitch energy, that empress energy, you know, um, and, and move on. And when this person does come back, you know, it gives you an opportunity to um, close the door on that. It gives you the opportunity to say your piece, uh, let them know exactly how they made you feel, and then cl close the door on that permanently, right? Um, I do feel like you have somebody else coming into your life in here, and, and it's this King of Pentacles, right? So could be an earth sign that's coming in here, Um um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, all right, could be a uh, earth sign or somebody with prominent earth in their chart, but I do feel like what, what Spirit is saying to me is that the universe is trying to send this person in and has tried multiple times, but I feel like you're so hung up on whoever this person is. It's like the universe is saying, we can't bring this new person in until you fully close the door on this last person, right? And so um, there could be an age difference here with the King of Pentacles, all right? There could be an age difference here. Um, whether you're older, he's older, whatever, or there could be like a maturity level difference. Um, like maybe the two of you are the same age, but one person has more of like a younger personality, a younger soul, right? Like um, something like that. Um, uh, what the hell is going on? October, I need you to stop that. You're messing up my light. Okay. Okay, hurry, take it. Is the video paused? Huh? Is the video no, paused? No, it's not. Okay. All right. So you 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 need to let go of this person, Scorpio. Okay. Uh, so that so that something better can come in. All right. Um, whenever the universe closes a door, there's always a better door, a better option that the universe is going to open for you once you do your healing. And I do feel like once you do your healing and, and you do finally move on from this person and let go, it's like the universe br not only brings in this new person, but there's this sense of relief here. Like, oh, thank God I left that last thing because what I have now is so much better than what I let go, right? Is kind of what I'm picking up here. All right, so are there any more messages or words of advice for Scorpio. Um, any more messages, words of advice, anything you want Scorpio to know before we go here? Any messages, words of advice, anything you want Scorpio to know before we go? Oops. Knight of Cups. Do a lot of self-care right now. A lot of self-care. Lovers. Take care of yourself. Self-care. You know, love on yourself. But also, you know, there's this message coming through of... Um, Honoring yourself in the way that you love by finding somebody who loves in the same way that you do, right? Um, yeah, Ace of Swords, let this person go. Six of Wands and Knight of Swords and Creatrix. There's something new trying to come in. There's a victory coming in within your love life. 
uh, something that you really like something that's really perfect for you it's like the universe is saying like i hand picked this person for you like whoever it is that's trying to come in this king of pentacles like the universe hand picked this person for you the universe hand picked this person for you this person loves in the same way that you do and the two of you are compatible right so use this ace of swords to cut whatever this is off from the past and, you know, do the crying and allow yourself to cry, allow yourself to let it go, allow yourself to grieve, and then move on because there's something here that's so much better for you. Like, Spirit is showing me, like, God, right? And God is creating, um, God's got this, um, this uh, big ball of clay, right? And God takes this big ball of clay and he cuts it into two. And then with this one, he makes a man. And with this one, he makes a woman, right? And he's saying, like, whoever this king of pentacles is, like, they were cut from the same cloth. They were made from the same ball of clay, right? And this is a person who is 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 capable of loving the same way that you love. And this is going to be a very beautiful, very, very beautiful connection, beautiful relationship, like, God is saying, like, I made this person for you. Like, I literally made this person for you. I picked this person for you. This is your other half. This is your soulmate, right? Whoever this is that's coming in, okay? So, um, let go of the past, Scorpio. Let that go, okay? you got something way better and way more compatible coming in here. Okay, I'm not going to say that the past person didn't know how to love. I'm just going to say that their idea of love is not the same idea, uh, not the same way that you love. Do you get what I'm saying? You guys are not compatible. All right. So I love you both or I love you. I love you both. I don't know where the fuck that came from. I love you guys with my entire heart. I wish you nothing but the best. Happy Thanksgiving. Namaste.